Ephesians 5, verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Call Allah Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Krakadash. The bonds of the elders and the apostles, the great millstone will rule well. Shalom to the whole few like men that scattered abroad, pushing his truth with our sincerity. And shalom to those few, few aquaf, right, that's taking heed and getting the orders like these last days. Come at you with a quick video, you know, something short, you know, I've just seen it through one of the um, elder brothers, you know, put it in the community section, you know, about, uh, you know, appears to be an Edomite. You know, uh, made a video about getting out now, right? Things are starting, you know, ramp up like we, which we've been prophesying about. You know, so um, he just said one key thing in there in a, in a small clip video. I will post a, um, his video inside my description box. You know, I just want to state one small point that he said. You know, that was just that it recently came out. You know, so I'm gonna um, speak on it when it comes up. It's not that long though, right? are getting so bad and so out of control that we have multiple cities that are declaring curfews and they're going to be checking IDs. They're saying that they're going to be, if there's groups of people, they're going to be monitoring that, right? They're going to be checking on people and making sure you are not supposed to be out and about, right? This is what's happening in multiple major cities in the U.S. right now. So you need to be getting out, you need to be getting away from these major cities, getting away from these population centers because when stuff goes down, it's gonna be bad there. That's where the chaos is gonna be and it's gonna spread out into the suburbs and out into the rural areas, right? That's what we're gonna see very soon, potentially. And, and you know, so like I had to cut off right there and that, made, that last point was he said it's gonna go from the city to the suburbs. Now, going back to the, you know, most turned in film, all right, leave the world behind, the little girl towards the end of the movie, you know, she was, she had a clear view of what? The city. And the city was in flames. You know what I'm saying? The city was in, <clears throat> in chaos, you know? So we know that these times are coming, you know what I'm saying? This just a, a short film, you know, just a short um, video I'm doing. You know, just to blow the trumpet, man. Like, you know that, hey, these are the these This thing happened, what, prior or 20, 2019, you know? You had to have the IDs. If you didn't have the IDs, you was getting, you was getting hauled off. You know, I don't know where you was going to go, you know, because, you know, I wasn't in the way. But, you know, hey, these things are coming again. These things are coming around, you know, real vividly. I mean, real rapidly. You know, um, <clears throat> another major thing is... This is the time to be uh, building yourself up in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah against these precepts, man, because it doesn't matter where you go. We could be smacked in the city, you know what I'm saying? As long as you do what you're supposed to be doing, you know, getting yourself geared up, you know, like the scripture says, um, you're going to be all right. That's what we put our faith in, you know, but, you know, just to warn you that hey, curfews are coming, right? These sleeper cells are about ready to be activated, you know? Oh, uh, hell about to hey, break loose, man. You know, um, um, and we know Esau, his main agenda is to do what? Get order out of chaos. And how he's going to do that? By what? Letting things get real bad, you know, just so he can come in as, as the hero, man. You know, so that was just something I had wanted to bring out through the spirit. Um, I grabbed, you know, two quick precepts to keep it. Um, So like in Ephesians 5 and 15, it says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, right? To being circumspect, being vigilant, you know? He starts setting up snares, you know? Um, um, we know we know soon the hell finna break loose, right? Shit is finna hit the fan, right? They trying to put, they got to get things in order by a certain timeline, man, right? Because they know that they don't have much time for their kingdom to stand, man. So they have to push as fast as possible, you know? So you just want to be on point. Whichever way Esau, you know, gets the moving, you know. But it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, right? And inside these news clips, that's all you're hearing about is bad times, evil times, man. You know, there's had the, like uh, the power plant explosion in New York, 
you know, cause uh, power outages. You know, you still got the you still got the wars going on over 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 the seas, man. That's ramping up, you know. It's causing what more confusion inside over here. You know, so it's definitely we're definitely in the time to be walking circumspectly. We a anything can happen, you know, at any given moment, right? While people worrying about who they about to give their Christmas presents to and stuff like that. Hey, these these elites, right? They they practice day and night about how can they throw the children of Israel into snares, man. You know, and what's a good way to catch them off guard, <clears throat> right? While they're pretty much um, worrying about the things of this world, right? Some that don't even have uh, something that doesn't even involve them with, you know, um, I'm just trying to say, you know, Christmas. <clears throat> it's not our holy day, you know, but that's, a, I believe that, you know, that's a perfect time for um, Esau to come in, you know, with some wrath, you know, while people are not paying attention, right? Um, so I'm going to go jump to the book of Isaiah 55. I don't know, I mentioned that. I got two more precepts after this. Right, on um, 55 verse 6. It says, seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. Right, with us blowing this blowing these trumpet, you know, we, we call you to get you ready for the battle. You know what I'm saying? Because it, about, a spiritual battle is coming, man. You know, the great hour of temptation. You know, um, all hell breaking loose. Well, that's, that, you know, all of that's going to happen to what make you... F- Cave in to what taking all uh, that sea help, you know. Um, it says he get a little while he may be found, right? Right now, you have the access to 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 uh reach out to brothers, you know, get as much understanding as possible, you know. That's why it says redeeming the time, buy back, hey, make the best out of the opportunity that you have, you know, to get this wisdom and knowledge, right? Because soon come, you and I have access to it, right? The Lord said he gonna the pr- the prudent man should um. Yeah, and that day the prudent man shall keep silence. You know, roughly paraphrase, I think it's Amos 5, right? But in a while, right, you won't be able to find the Lord, Yahweh, you know? Um, yeah, you know, I had quoted it earlier. Hmm. First Peter. Call like hell about Shmuel I could not get it out. All right, First Peter five and eight. All right, it says be sober, be vigilant. All right, be sober, be vigilant. We gotta be real cautious, man. You know, understanding this is reality. You know, things have to play out for the better. All right, things have to play out. You know, in order for us to get the kingdom, all hell have to break loose on this side. You know, one kingdom. Has to go down just for another one to rise up, right? When you know that would be Yasharala, right? The Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. It says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk off about seeking whom he may devour. You know, so we must always be vigilant about what's going on because you don't want to be caught out there and not paying attention, man. You know, and, um, it's the book of Ephesians. No. Um, yeah, Ephesians 6 and 10. Um, it says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. <coughs> you know, like I say, you know, we've come to a time where you may be thrown inside a concentration camp, you know, um, Food famine, you know, going going days without eating, you know, our temptation, right? These things are coming upon everybody, man. You know, and we must be prepared, must be circumspect, must be understanding that it's this is around the corner, it can happen at any given moment, you know. But that just that on that, uh, Lord willing, you know, lessons out of lines for to bring that point out. You know, if you want to, like I said, I'm gonna drop the description. You can check out the whole link to yourself, but hey, what he's talking about, we already know what's going to come, you know. So, till next time, I tell you, Shalom.